Good morning, Santa Clarita. Welcome to uh, Santa Clarita's hometown station, AM 1220 uh, KHTS. Um, I'm Chris Mendenhall sitting in for Darby Noakes, who's uh, taking a little time with her family. She has uh, three boys, four boys, I'm lying to you, that are uh, uh, probably the last weekend before they go back to school. So um, I work with Darby Noakes. I've known her for the last year and a half and met her th uh, through her expertise in credit restoration. She helped uh, several of my clients uh, make uh, changes in their life. In fact, on my way to the station today, I had a call from a client, and we informed him about a, a credit card reported late on his uh, credit report uh, from a bank, a regional bank. And he goes, I don't even bank with that bank. And I said, well, I don't know what to tell you. And uh, so we, we sent him a copy of the credit report. And uh, because he had contacted the bank, they had no record of him being uh, a client at the bank, and uh, when he presented them with the evidence of the credit report, they said, "Well, uh, well, th you know, you co-signed for your daughter, you know, 14 years ago, and you should have known better than to do that because, you know, now you're obligated for that." And he's saying, "Well, I didn't know. You didn't know that I was a client, you know. And now, which is it?" And they go, "And then we've issued a credit card to you every year for the last 14 years." <laughs> so he's he said to me, his comment was, "He goes, I don't know how you deal with these people." He goes, I, I have no idea how you deal with th these people that are reporting things in error on my credit history and have damaged, severely damaged my credit history. I don't know how you do it. And that's what we do. And, uh, and Darby uh, and our company, United Credit uh, Education Services, is a national company uh, formed t over 10 years ago with an A-plus better uh, rating with the Better Business Bureau, and uh, we've seen a lot of success, and we'll help this guy. He was a little frustrated this morning, but uh, I'm happy that he's he's hanging in there. But I'm happy to have the opportunity to uh, sp spend some time with our co-host, uh, Dave Babaraki, the owner and broker for Pacific Shores Real Estate, Inc. Uh, they have offices in the four counties, L.A., Orange, Riverside, and San Diego. I've known Dave for too many years, right, Dave? <laughs> I, I knew Dave. Uh, and I still consider you a friend. Th that is a dang line, you know. <laughs> but uh, I knew Dave uh, back in high school, was, uh, and later as he became a professional athlete, professional runner. And uh, uh, Dave, uh, it reminds me of uh, a great Olympic athlete, um, Bob Richards, who was a great decathlon. Uh, and he said, there, he goes, I, uh, there's nothing special about me. Is I'm 5'10", average height, average build, but uh, he says, I just work harder than anybody else. And so welcome, Dave, to the show, and we want to talk a little about uh, real estate here in uh, the Santa Clarita Valley, Southern California, and uh, get an update on what's going on and, and what we need to know uh, to be up to date. Well, um, we are in a changing real estate market. One thing's about real estate markets, they never stay the same. Prices are either going up or they're going down. Sometimes they flatline for a short period of time. What we've seen over the last 30, 60 days is a large increase in the amount of inventory on the market. And that means that is a great time to buy because the buyers have a lot of properties to choose from. It also means that the sellers are competing for those buyers. And, and because of that, the prices are going to be more negotiable. So I think... We're not certainly not seeing any type of collapse of a real estate market like we saw in the end of 2007 through 2008, 2009. But we may be seeing a slight adjustment in the prices over the next few months, which will allow some incredible opportunities while the interest rates are still incredibly low for the buyers to get into the market and purchase homes. Uh, I, you know, I, was, I saw an article uh, recently um, last week that was saying that home ownership, uh, the rate has fallen to the lowest level in 19 years. It's fallen off. I mean, uh, I was surprised to see that. And why do you? I mean, what do you think that's about? Well, I think the the government actually overreacted and made the restrictions with Dodd Frank a lot. The Dodd Frank bill and uh, much harder for people to qualify to get loans. So, but if there's two things that help keep people from getting qualified from um, from a loan, one is income, and the second is credit. And that and we could help them with the credit. We're not going to give them jobs, help them with the income. Come on. Nope, sorry about that. So, unless they want to become a realtor. <laughs> so, but it's, uh, but besides that, it's, it's, we could really help. 
even even people that um, are self-employed, a lot of times they take too many deductions. We get in positions where they could take advantage of this market. Sit down and have a professional uh, conversation with the people of what it's going to take for them to get in a position to purchase a home. But a lot of people don't really know, and I, I think, I don't know if it's a fear of rejection and they want to sit down and kind of, you know, you know, spread out what they make or what they, you know, what their tax returns look like. Um, is it is it a fear of rejection by the uh, a lender that that keeps people from jumping back into the market? You think or? Well, no, no. I actually think the economy has gotten hard for people, and and it's and and they've been beat up. Um, people have a lot of credit issues more than more importantly, and they're they're thinking that they can't, they're stuck and they can't get a loan. And most most of the time, we could get people in a position where they could qualify for a loan within many times as soon as 90 days and sometimes it may take six months to a year but we could get them into a position where they could get back into the market. Now Pacific Shores Real Estate Inc, you, now you do you real estate and do you have mortgage opportunities with your company as well? Yeah absolutely we have we have we're full service we have escrow, mortgage, real estate etc and because we could package those services we could give incredible discounts to our clients let's find out a little bit more about that after the break you're listening to your hometown station am 1220 khts